Well, hey everybody, it's another Conversations with. Today I have with me is Robin Craven, and Robin is the town administrator of the town of Charlton. And uh, she's been working on electricity. And there's been some confusion and some questions and some whatevers. And so we're going to chat today about this special project and how folks can get advantage and take advantage of it. Correct. Thank you. Thank you, Dick, for having us. Um, I did want to come and talk to, to you and talk to the people about the municipal aggregation of electricity. Uh, many people have received notices in their, um, at their residences and buildings and they didn't know it was coming. Um, so some people have not been necessarily following this. It's been a long, t um, a long process. We've been working on this for about two and a half years. Um, which includes um, back in October of 2014, there was a special town meeting asking the town if they wanted to aggregate. Um, and the purpose of aggregating would be to um, provide a, a stability in your um, electricity bill. So basically we'll be talking about electricity bill and costs in kilowatt hours and um, they vary. So we have many people here in the town of Charlton who are on a basic open market yep. for a national grid. Um, many of the residents have already taken advantage of such um, providers as um, Viridian or Dominican or yeah. and they may like them, they may not like them, but um, those people would not be affected by this. So this is only for those who are on the open market. Um, we went out to bid to um, try to stabilize the funds and also get a lower price. Uh, I think there's a little bit of confusion here because as the notices are coming out, there's a couple of caveats in it, which says one is that we don't guarantee a lower rate. Well, we can't predict the lower, where the rate's going to go. What we can tell you is that every six months, National Grid changes its pricing. Generally in the summertime, which is right now, um, the pricing is a little bit lower. When winter comes, pricing goes a little higher. Okay. So you're, the notices that people are getting for the first six months, it's clearly under what they're paying now. In six months, um, we're it goes up a little bit. What we're anticipating is that that price will still be lower. Um, what they need to remember is that this is, because we're trying to stabilize the rates, it's a, um, a three-year contract. So no matter what the market does, going up and down, they're going to, ha they're going to be able to depend on that um, cost as, as being level. Um, and and the market, by the way, does go up and down. It does. I mean, and it changes. You, it, you, you see it all the time if you, you follow the, the, the stock market. You see the prices jumping up right. and down. So We were up to 14 cents not that long ago yeah. on the open market. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons we started this process. We had started hearing that um, there is a couple of nuclear power plants that are going to be shut down. That's right. Um, so that we be, began to be concerned about the residents um, as well as the town buildings that electricity was going to, to spike. And if we could find a way to make that stable yeah. for us, that, um, that that would be a good, good, thing good to project do. Yeah. to do. Um, so there's been a lot of conversation. So some of the comments that, that people have called in since they received the letter is, I didn't know about this, or how can you do this to me? So I um, just want to talk a little bit about the process so people know at home you know, what we've done, Good. because certainly we've had an open and transparent process. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, some people didn't come to town meeting, or they haven't looked at the newspaper, right. or they haven't um, looked at the selectmen's meetings. Well, I think um, one of the tragedies is a lot of times people don't pay much attention to things like that, and then all of a sudden there's something changes, or there's an opportunity. Mm -hmm. I didn't know anything about it. Right. You know, and it's, it's simply because, you know, we, we, we go, you know, we're in a crazy society that keeps us moving fast. And, True. and sometimes we don't, you know, uh, take time to see what really is out there. And, and many is, people don't have the time. That's right. I mean, well, it, we have, we have both work, world. Both people are working now. It's not like it mm -hmm. used to be. So yeah. there's a lot of things that just, you know, fly by. Right. So we started this process back in 2014. We went to a uh, town meeting and asked, we did a presentation to explain exactly what it was that we were going to do. Um, town meeting approved it. Uh, then what we did was um, the first company that we had hired, um, what we had to do to become aggregated was to get approval from the Department of Energy um, Utilities. Um, we had started with one um, consultant that did not 
exactly work out. Their approach was a little off, and, and they were doing it for, they were representing several towns, and several towns were denied. Um, we changed over to another consultant who had some success, um, which was Good Energy. And I know a lot of people have met our representative from Good Energy. He's been at many of the Board of Selectmen meetings. Right. We had a health fair. We had him do a table so he could start talking to the employees, trying to get the word out um, about this program. So what we did was um, we also tried to lower the cost by being regional. So we went out to bid with two other towns. We went out to bid with Millbury and Ox the town of Oxford. So in um, so we advertised about a public hearing first before we yep. went out to bid, and that was in December of 2015. Um, the Board of Selectmen held a public hearing, um, and that was advertised on the website as yep. well as cable. Um, January 5th, they held the public hearing on the municipal aggregation. Um, we filed the documents at that time with the town clerk's office so that anyone could come in and read the documents about what we were doing. Um, the hearing was to hear comments from the citizens. Uh, Representative O'Rourke from Good Energy was in attendance and answered many questions um, as we prepared to get DPU's approval. We received approval this January in 2017. February, the Board of Selectmen approved the contract with Good Energy um, and we started going out to bid we, as the three towns. May 17th, um, we, well, we opened the bids and chose um, the, the plant, the provider that we would be working with. Yep. Um, and we actually didn't take his first bid. You know, we opened them all, we found yep. the lowest bidder, and then we still went back and said, mm, we, we need this to at least be under. Um, to mail this out and to have this be a good yeah. thing for our citizens. We need to be at least under the rate today. Yeah. Um, because it's, and we did receive calls saying, you know, some of this after six months is higher than this rate. Well, we anticipate that the winter rate is actually going oh, yeah. to be higher. So, um, you know, we've, we've been doing our due diligence. So one of the things that was very important at town meeting, and people will notice if they've gotten their um, letters already, is that there's an opt-out provision. It was very important for us not to do something that would make or force residents or businesses to go into this program. So it is an opt-out. Many residents have come and asked me, why is it opt-out? Why, why aren't you just asking me if I want to be in it? The problem with that was what we were trying to do was to get the lowest rate possible yeah. for our residents. So when the energy provider started to calculate the savings and what they were going to charge us, they could, if it's an opt-out program, they could probably figure that maybe 10, maybe 20 percent might opt out. So they could give us numbers based on 80 percent. Right. If we had mm -hmm. the opposite where people opt in, they would have calculated based on probably maybe 20 percent would take the time to opt in. So the rate would have been much higher. So we did everything we could to get that rate um, stable and low. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's great. And, and, and so what are people, now what are they supposed to do? What do they have to do? So if they want to stay in the program and be kind of locked in for that three years, they don't have to do anything. The opt-out um, portion is we're trying to get people to opt out ahead of time so we don't go through the, the yeah. um, process of putting them in and doing all of that. But they can opt out at any time. So they could choose to wait the six months, um, take the lower rate, and then if when National Grid um, changes their rate, if it's not lower, they could opt out. So um, we've tried to make it very simple. Um, people will find on the website, on the letter that they receive on the website, and I think we also have it on cable, is the um, Good Energy's phone number and information so you can contact, they can contact them to get more information about the program. Right. So now the people, are they, when you say they, if they don't do anything, do they have to sign up to be in it? No, sir. Because we've aggregated as a town, and the Massachusetts um, Department of Utilities recognizes Charlton as a municipal aggregated town, which means we are a provider. Okay. So you're, So everyone will go in if, unless they already have a contract now or they send in the opt-out card and that says, I want to stay on the open market. Okay. So if, you're, if they're already under contract, there's nothing they can do anyway because well, they got a contract. We will not automatically put them in. We will not take them out of any contract that they're in. But say if they're in a contract with one of the multiple suppliers, suppliers and they would yeah. like to change over, 
um, they should contact that number on the website to see about getting changed over. We just won't do it automatically. Right. Now, do you know the rate now? I have the rates here. So right now in the program, and this is what it looks like that you'll be getting in the mail, and the opt-out sheet looks like this. This is the opt-out card. Okay. So all you do is just mail it back and say thank you, but no thank you when you're out of the program um, and don't have to give it another thought. Um, so right now, the na current National Grid Utility Basic Service rate is, is 0 0.09. Four. Um, and the residential that we'll have to start the program will be 0 0.9093. So it's a, you know, it's a hundred percent lower, but it accumulates over time. Oh yeah. You know, with the the rates, the commercial rate um, is 0 0.087, and in this it will be 0 0.093, and then it will go up to 0.10. Um, and the industrial rate is 0 0.076, and it will go up to one, 0 0.09, and then after six months, a 0.1. Wow. Well, so, but but again. But they're very. If, close. He, if people, the thing is, if I'm getting this right, if they join this, mm -hmm. and six months from now they want out, they can mail that little card in. Absolutely. And they're out of it. Absolutely. We made sure of that, and that was very important to the town at town meeting, that people not be forced into it. Yeah. Well, I think it's great. I mean, I, I, you know, it's a great opportunity for people to, uh, to take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I think one of the, well, we talked about it earlier, people, time, they just don't pay attention to things sometimes. And, you know, the electric bill comes in. How many people really check to see what the rate really is? Mm -hmm. They just see it's you know, $38, 56 whatever it is. Right. They write the check and mail it back. And, and so it would behoove them to start looking at those things. And this is a great opportunity mm -hmm. um, that the town has done and the town of Charlton has put it together and said, hey, here you go, here's a deal. Uh, let us know if you want to be part of it. Right. And, uh, and, and it, it's a great opportunity. And the contract that we have is for three years. So after three years, we'll go back out to bid. We'll look at the program, see if we want to continue the program. Um, and we'll go back out to bid and certainly try to fight and get lower rates. And we'll have a better sense um, right. after that time of, of how, it, how it will go. Now, what about people get this and they can call the Sleckman's office if they have any questions? They can call our office. They can call me. Um, they can also call if they're technical questions and things about their billing and things. Um, I would recommend that they call the 800 number, um, the number for good energy, because they've got a lot of yeah, material yeah, and they'll and they be got, able to be much more responsive because they will be the ones that are facilitating rolling out the uh, program. Well, that's great. So this is, now, you know, people have to understand, you're still going to get your national grid bill. Yes. You're still going to get, everything's going to be the same. You'll, if it's a heavy problem, you call national grid. But then the, the, there's a carrier that, mm -hmm. that will be good energy. Right. And that'll be on your bill also, but in another section. Mm -hmm. So it'll explain it that way. But a, a lot of people think, oh, yeah, but if I change, you know, what do I do if the power goes out? Well, if the power goes out, you call National Grid. And the bill will still right. come from National Grid. Right. So I think a lot of people They'll don't understand They'll see nothing that. different on their bill. No. Except it'll be stable. for the, It'll be the same for the next three years. Right. Now, so is there a time period where they have to get involved in this? Um, again, this will be automatic. It, yep. um, we're anticipating that the actual program will begin July 1st. Um, again, if they want to opt out, I encourage people to do that um, as quickly as possible so that there's no kind of back right. and forth. Um, we prefer to opt that, get them off before the program it gets does. rolled out. Um, but no, if they'd like to stay in the program and see how it, how it goes, we encourage them to do nothing. Right. We've tried to make it very simple. Yeah, well, and it is. And so there you have it, folks. Uh, that's it in a nutshell. And, uh, and you, you have a great opportunity uh, to save some pennies uh, and on your electric bill. And, uh, and you'll get this in the mail? They will be getting it in the mail. If they don't get one in the mail, then they need to find out if they're under contract. Because right. we will not be sending them to anyone that's under contract. Under contract. I actually had a gentleman come in and say that he had not received it. He had been on a contract, but he thought the contract had been, had been done, yeah. that he didn't have it, and they still had him yeah. listed. So. Well, what they'll do, a lot of those companies, they just automatically roll you over, and they don't tell you. So mm -hmm. you've got to be careful. 
Well, Robin, thanks a bunch for coming by. Well, thank you. That was you. terrific, and we'll get this running so folks can take advantage of this opportunity. Thank you very much. My pleasure. And there you have it, folks, another conversation with.